Hey everybody, this is Dr. Nelson. This is a video about something called system of equations. Okay, in fact, we're going to first talk about something called system of linear equations because all the graphs that we're going to look at involve lines. All right, so what exactly is a system of linear equations? Well, I wrote it right here for you. It, systems of equations are two or more equations that share the same variables. Okay, um, if the graphs of these equations intersect, the point of intersection lies on both graphs and the coordinates work in both equations. If the number of equations is the same as the number of different variables, a system of equation can be solved. So what exactly does this mean? Let me show you, okay? So over here we have two different um, graphs. The one going upward, okay, is the function 3x minus y equals zero, all right? And the one that's going downward is x plus y equals uh, four, all right? And if you notice, they intersect at this point right here. Let me mark it in, in red, right, or blue, right there, at point one and three. So according to the graph, the x value is one and the y value is three, okay? Now this right here, since this is the point that both graphs share, it's a solution to both equations. And let me prove it to you, okay? So if I take this equation over here and I rewrite it, so x plus y equals four, okay? And I substitute a one and three in for the, for the variables. So x is one and y is three. Look at that, one plus three equals four. So the, the, the solution one, three is a solution to this first equation, all right? Now let's see if it's also a solution to this one down here, three x minus y equals zero. So let me rewrite it, three x, minus y equals zero, all right? Now let me plug in the uh, the variables. So we're saying x is one, y is three. So it's gonna be three times one minus three equals zero, and three times one is three, and three minus three equals, look at that, zero, okay? So we know that the solution to the system is one, three, all right? Now that you understand a little more about systems, let's go to the next page and take a look at these, these four different systems, all right? So number five, notice we have two lines that intersect. So right here is the solution, okay? And there's only one solution, all right? So because of that, um, number one, it says in graph five, the two lines intersect at one point. So there is one solution to the system of equations, all right? Now take a look at the number six. Number six, we also have two graphs, sorry, two lines that intersect right here. And that's the only point where they meet, okay? So because of that, um, in graph six, the system of equations has one solution because the lines intersect in one point, okay? Now take a look at number seven. Here we have two different functions and they never intersect, they're, two, they're parallel, okay? So because they're parallel, we know the slopes are, are gonna be the same, okay? So these are never, ever, ever, ever gonna to touch. So because they're never gonna to touch, they're never gonna share a common point that's a solution for both uh, equations, all right? So because of that, in graph seven, the, the lines intersect in zero points, which means that the lines are parallel. This system of equations has no solution, all right? And then last but not least, number eight, notice there's only one line. This is why, because when I graphed uh, negative two X minus six Y equals negative 12, and I graphed X plus three Y equals six, they were the exact same line, okay? That means every single point you can see is a solution to the system, all right? So in graph eight, there's only one line. This means that both equations make the same graph so the system equation has infinite solutions. All right, so now that you understand the difference between uh, one solution, uh, no solution, and infinite solutions, pause the video, try the your turn problems now, and then when you're done, hit play and you can see how you did. All right, good luck. All right, hey, welcome back. Let's say you did with the uh, your turn problems, okay? 
So this first system, we have two equations, okay? And they intersect only at one little point right here, okay? So it says the solution to the system of equations is, well, this would be at point one and two. Um, so it's right here, one and two, all right? This one over here, the solution is gonna be right here. And that's gonna be at point four and it looks like negative two, negative three, excuse me. So four and negative three, is a solution. Number three, uh, we have two lines that are parallel. Again, this means they're never going to touch. So, which means there's going to be no solution for this one. All right. If you look at the next page, we have again two lines that intersect and meet at one point. That means there's one solution, and this will have a solution of negative two and zero. This one here uh, looks like there's one solution and that's at point one and one. This one, if you notice, the, um, both lines overlap. That means there's gonna be infinite solutions. And then the next page, we have, again, a yellow car and a blue car, right? And it looks like they meet right at that point. And that point is location. Uh, well, they wanna know the number of miles to uh, total cost. Okay, so it looks like it's going to be three miles will cost eight dollars for both taxis. Oops, that's the bottom one. Excuse me. Three miles for eight dollars. Okay. Um, again, this one we have two lines that are have the same slope, so they are parallel, which means there's no solution. And then, last but not least, we have uh, two lines that intersect at only one point. Okay, and that point has a solution of negative one and seven, which is right here. All right, how'd you do with these practice problems?